it's Ruby. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a while, but I'm glad I'm back. Um, so today's video, I'm going to be uh, doing a get ready with me. We're going to a concert, uh, which is fun. And so today I'm going to see Pierce the Veil, which is one of my favorite bands. Uh, they have been for a very long time. Uh, I think I started listening to them in like the eighth grade or something and I just, it never stopped. It just, they stuck with me. Um, and so I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup and getting dressed um, and uh, you can watch the process. If you're not familiar with the band, they're a post-hardcore punk band. Um, they're really awesome. You should check them out if you're into that type of stuff. Uh, but I Prevail is coming along with them, so it's like a, a co-tour. Um, but really I'm going to see Pierce the Veil because I'm not like a huge fan of I Prevail, but like they're all right. I, I mean, I enjoy a show no matter what. Um, and Fit for a King and Yours Truly are also opening for them. Uh, Yours Truly is a really awesome band, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of them. Uh, so it should be a great show tonight. Okay, first thing I'm gonna put on is my e.l.f. Uh, hydrating face primer. My skin is always dry. So, there you go. So literally I just put it into my fingers. I don't know if there's a better way to do it, but that's the way I like to do it. Um, I put a lot like around my nose, especially around my nose. Like this is where my skin gets really dry, is right here. And like then my makeup, like it, it starts to kind of crackle here because of how dry my skin is. Uh, it's not cute. So that's why I put this on. I move my hair out of the way. So yeah, I've been going to lots of live shows lately. Like I feel like during COVID, it really like deprived me of something I love so much, which is seeing live music. Um, so lately I've been trying to just see as many bands as I can and uh, artists and bands um, because I just, I literally love it so much. It's my favorite thing to do. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Essence Hydrating Foundation. I'm um, sorry, it's a little bit of a mess, but uh, that's how you know I've been using it a lot. Um, okay, so when I, where's my, there it is, my beauty blender. So I literally just put it straight on my beauty blender. My beauty blender is already a little bit wet. I always um, I always wet it a bit just because it helps like even everything out. And I just literally slop it on just like that. Nothing crazy. I'm not really fancy with these things. I try to stick to, um, you know, more cost effective brands. I, I'm not, I don't have like a ton of money, you know, I just finished college and so when it comes to things like this I just try to save my penny <laughs> so I stick to brands like elf essence like things that are um, on the cheaper side and they get the job done so that's what matters now for foundation I don't like to do like super heavy very full coverage like I'm, I'm okay with just like a kind of medium coverage um, I don't mind and it kind of still allows like my freckles to show through um, Honestly, it's just to even out my skin tone and sometimes I have small like little blemishes like have like a little little zit mark here or something so it Just evens everything out and I'm a little like red too. So and of course my eyes are always I always have such bad eye bags like dark circles in my eyes. So I gotta cover that all up. This has been a really good year for concerts, at least in Toronto. Um, because I guess because of COVID, nobody could tour now that it's over, or at least restrictions are cleared. Everyone's starting to come to the city, and uh, I love that. Recently, I just saw Silverstein with uh, the Amity Affliction. They came this week. Uh, actually, it was on, yeah, it was a couple of days ago. I went with a good friend of mine. And it was so awesome. I also recently saw My Chemical Romance. That was crazy. I didn't think I was ever going to get to see them in my life. That was awesome. Um, who else did I see? I saw Avril Lavigne recently. And um, Greta Van Fleet I also saw. Okay, now the foundation's all said and done. Um, I have this also Essence brand Camouflage Matte. Uh, concealer. I actually really like this one. This one's really good. 
Um, and I just like to put these this uh, like under my eyes to cover my dark circles. Uh, I have like really deep eyes, so the darkness really shows right about there. I'm gonna cover this little blemish there. That's about it. I'm gonna blend it in. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of fill in my brows. I have pretty like decent brows. Um, I just have this like little scar here that always bothers me. Um, so I like to fill that in and just kind of make them look cleaner, um, more solid. Oh, this is, um, it's all scratched off. I think it's uh, LA Colors brand. Uh, of course I'm gonna drop it. This is LA Colors Dark Brown. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. I like that it has this little brush on the end. So I just kind of brush my brows to make them look, you know, natural, clean, filled in. So if you notice, I didn't put powder yet. Um, that's because I like to do concealer under my brows. Just to kind of make this look a bit cleaner. Kind of line underneath my brows, just so that it looks clean and all put together. Then with like whatever's left on the brush, doesn't you don't need a lot of product. Just go along the top, same thing. It's kind of like you're outlining your eyebrows just so that they look a bit neater. Then I just kind of blend it out just like that. Okay, now we're gonna put powder. So this is the CoverGirl Clean and Professional. Um, honestly, my skin is always super dry. It doesn't get too greasy. Um, so I don't use a lot of powder. But this powder smells so good. I just use like a regular brush like this. Um, it sounds fun. <laughs> and I literally just rub a little bit. I don't like loose powder as much. Uh, I thought I would try it because I know a lot of people prefer it. But I don't love it because, again, my skin gets so dry. And I find that loose powder just is much stronger and absorbs so much more oil. I just got it all over me, but that's okay because I'm going to change. <laughs> So when I do this, I'm really light-handed with it. Um, but one thing is that I put it on my eyelids because I don't know why, but my I, I get really bad creasing, I guess because my eyes are so deep um, and I have like such hooded eyes that when I put a lot of eyeshadow, it tends to crease right about there. So the powder should absorb the oils on my eyelids that kind of cause that creasing to happen. I'm then gonna use this e.l.f. It's sheer, I think, yeah, sheer uh, eyeshadow primer. And uh, just slap it on my eyelids, nothing crazy. Uh, put it on there. And usually I just end up blending it with my finger, like just like that. my second time I believe seeing Pierce the Veil. I saw them once at Warped Tour. I miss Warped Tour so much. 
That was like my favorite thing. I look forward to it every year. Um, but I'm glad that they're coming and I get to see them again because it's been a while. I think that was like 2014 or 15, somewhere there. <laughs> uh, so they were awesome then. I know they're going to be awesome today too. Okay, now comes the fun part. I have my very beat up uh, Morphe James Charles palette. Uh, this is very used. Like I use this constantly because it just has all the colors I need. Um, so it's really a mess. Um, I'm not sure what color to do today. I like to do really bold colors with then like a black uh, like outline. It just really stands out. Uh, the shirt that I'm going to be wearing is this one in the back don't mind the mess i'm kind of going through a closet clean out right now um and so the, the shirt has some like red flowers on it so maybe i'm gonna go for like a red shadow hmm. i'm gonna do black on the outside and red on the inner so i'm just gonna use this whoop, this black color right here this palette's black uh shadow is really good i prefer it to liner because it's more forgiving when I have to do like liquid eyeliner my hands really unsteady and then I get so obsessed with it being symmetrical um, it just feels like so much more stress than it needs to be <laughs> so at least with the shadow I kind of do it a little messy doesn't matter you know still looks good something I really like to do to help me out is get like a small um, angled brush like this and make like an outline for me to work with so because i know i'm gonna put this underneath like that i'm gonna kind of just follow that line from underneath my eyelid and uh create a wing that i can then color in it just makes life so much easier I say I like to do this type of makeup for concerts because even if it kind of smudges when you're sweating and you're in the crowd, I have just general admission so I'm going to be like fighting my way through the crowd. Um, and if it smudges and stuff like it still looks okay, like it's already like kind of set up for that, like it already have, I already put it underneath. Um, so if it smudges a bit, it's not a big deal. Okay, now if you notice I only did like half, um, that's because I'm going to put the other color here in the front. So I think I'm gonna go for red. Hmm, maybe this nice bright red right there. I'm gonna add a pretty big brush like this and just put it right on there. The next part is just kind of focusing on blending these two together in the middle. Um, so kind of, I, I like to, with blacks, um, the best thing for me is to just kind of slap some color on top because it doesn't hide the black, it just kind of merges them together by tinting it a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little brush, let me find one like this and I'm gonna use some glitter let me see I guess I'll do this one I 
I always like to add a little bit of glitter. I don't know, it just gives it a pop. It's looking good, but I want to very carefully use the same red uh, as like a blush color to tie it all in. So I'm going to dip in there. Lately, I've been so obsessed with this kind of, this e-girl exaggerated blush type of thing, like on the nose and on the cheeks. Then with my powder brush, like they just kind of go over it so it doesn't, so it looks more like natural, doesn't look so harsh. With no extra product on it, just kind of like brush over it. I'm gonna go in with that glitter color I used here. Oh, this one. And I'm gonna use that as a highlight. Just like that. Now I'm going to line my wet line so that it kind of ties together um, or else it kind of looks like I just kind of put this line underneath and there's like this separation. You can see the difference here. And this is a L'Oreal Paris and just the color is just called black. <laughs> okay, now at this point I'm going to curl my lashes. Honestly, they don't show a lot with makeup like this, with a uh, shadow like this. It, uh, your lashes don't show a ton, but you still got to put a, a mascara on them anyway. Mascara I'm going to be using is Essence Double Trouble. Um, this is a waterproof mascara. I like to use the waterproof especially for concerts because I know that uh, I'm going to be in a crowd and it's going to be crazy. Uh, probably sweating. Uh, maybe crying too. Uh, so <laughs> this is the one I like. I'm so excited. I'm glad I'm almost ready because I need to get in line to make sure I make it to the front because I'm so short and when people stand in front of me, I can't see anything. Now to end off my makeup, I'm going to use the Quo Beauty lip crayon it's in burning bright it's just a bright red color This is how it looks. Makeup is all done. Uh, I'm just gonna fix my hair and then get dressed. So for my hair, I think I'm just gonna put it flat down, maybe do a little small braid or something. Nothing too crazy. Um, just keep it casual. So I decided to leave my hair natural, just down. Um, I did a little braid here, just so it looks a little more interesting. And I'm gonna go Put on my band shirt and this is my outfit nothing too crazy um because like i said i'm gonna be in the crowd i don't want anything too fancy i just want to be comfortable um so i have this long sleeve just plain shirt 
Um, it's cold outside, so I gotta make sure I cover up. Um, and this Pierce the Veil shirt from like, I'm not gonna lie, I think like 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, and I still have it. And hopefully today I can get a new one because this one is really starting to get worn out. Um, but it's OG, so I love it. It's close to my heart. Um, just regular high-waisted jeans, a belt, and some comfy, can't even see that, some comfy bands. Uh, because I'm going to be in the crowd having fun, dancing. Um, so, yeah. See you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what type of videos you guys want to see. See you in the next one. Bye.